we're the stay at home shopping network we alternate between home and the stock shop and today we've got tons of new inventory shop tour we shop got some tour. pallets in yeah a, a pallet or two may have came in in the last week and you know my uh, amazing employees have been so awesome as to get it all into stock so we're super excited to show you give you the pan of it um, if you guys are new here, we own a shop in Lehigh, Utah called Jamie Ray Vintage. You can also purchase any item you see here at jrvhome.com. We try to have an eclectic mix of new, um, used, vintage, antique with kind of a Euro flair. So we do find as many things as we can that remind us of our trip to France here in our little shop in Lehigh. All right. Well, let's start talking about new stuff. Okay, let's talk about new stuff. Um, last week, if you guys watched the Saturday Thrift Haul, this is the big Mama Jamma green jar situation. I don't know if it has a tag on it. Now, you said we weren't going to start in the corner because we always start in the corner. You walked right over here. Well, I like this jar. Jean, did we tag this jar? Um, I believe we did. Maybe on the is bottom? It on the bottom? $99.95. Show them the. It's the bicentennial milk jug. And it looks amazing with floral. So we've got these English flock fox gloves. Um, are these on the half off, Christy? What is it? The fox gloves? Uh, no. Okay. I can put them on there. Yeah, let's put these in the half off. Okay. So these actually are just going half off. Regular price is $14.95 a stem. So $7.50 if my math is correct. So don't forget to check the half off collection. We have lots of stuff still in there. Clothes and decor and seasonal. It'd be like $7.48. Thanks for the math. Seven forty-seven and a half. <laughs> so there you go. Seven forty-seven and a half. You can have a stem, and they look amazing. So if you're <laughs> going to buy this green jar and you wanted to fill it, I would say you'd probably need about eight stems to fill that, fill it up. Um, these are new. These are actually new old stock. They are old pharmacy jars. These are the square ones. They're five ninety-five each, and they look super cute with our succulent picks. The price tag is in the jar. The Hold price on. tag got stuck. Boop. Nope, that one's stuck. It's all right, we'll there's, get them out. There's a price tag somewhere. They're like a dollar something, I think. But anyways, the jars themselves are $5.95. Those are new. Jean, did we get the uh, this metal tin that's up here on the website? Yep. All right, this just got up here. We only have one. It's brand new. Tin Flower Caddy. It's $9.95. Is that... Is that the uh, test the waters new? Here, you're trying to put it up way too oh, high. Oh, sorry. Test the water. No, it, it's a found item, so we can't get any more. Oh, uh, it gotcha. No, it doesn't. It's too late. Oh, oh we're, no. we're dropping stuff, and I'm giving you super close up of the. It's okay. We'll just leave it right there and walk away. Okay, that looks good. It looks good. Just buy G it. Gene will come back in and fix it. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. All right, but don't touch any more things. All right. Okay. This is the last grain sack apron that we have. And if you guys, what? Now they go. What did I do? I'm just chuckling about the. Is uh, Caitlin on here? The touching of I the don't stuff. I see Caitlin on here. Normally, oh. Caitlin's on here dropping. Just ask what that metal thing's called. Oh, okay. Yes, she's on here. So if you guys are watching the replay, make sure you hit the live chat feature because Caitlin is dropping links as we're talking. Um, or you can go to jrvhome.com and if you search new to old, you'll get most of the new items will pop up unless they're restocks. So. This is our last grain sack apron. We have this cool apothecary painted lamp face. This actually was painted December 20th. Oh, nice. Of, uh, or December 2020, because uh, Jean puts the dates on there. So this would like a new home with you. It looks good with that uh, Edison bulb up in there. Oh, I like Caitlin it. asked about the green jug. It's probably like bicentennial something or other, because it's a, a antique situation like it's collectible that's the word there we go it's antique antique five gallon green glass embossed eagle jug i that, did not name it i i think i did <laughs> antique five gallon that's green a lot of glass words. embossed eagle jug yeah do you even remember that? i probably googled it and that was the name so there you go that's the jug all right we got some new towels too yes so well we actually have this for a while i don't think you just probably didn't know um, these are the french striped i think we sold out on them though like i feel like they're new in the shop i don't know these Again. are 8.95 for these french striped towels and then these ones are 9.95 if you need tassels everybody needs a little tassel on their towel these are the cute um lennox plates that we thrifted last week they're 6.95 man each. they look really good next to those butter dishes yeah and you know what they look really good next to our new runners so we had a big one but that one sold diane came and bought it this week she's on here watching so 
you Diana, show them how big that one is. Tell us if you've used your new um, runner because I'm going to put one at the farmhouse. That's actually why I bought that. But look how cute this is. So oh, this is a grain sack runner. That's long. What is that? Five feet? Um, Four. It's 56 inches and they're 100% cotton. So get your iron or your steamer out. And they look really, really good next to these bolts. So if you guys are kind of going for like a French country theme, you got that French blue all day long there. So it's like four and a half fish feet. Yeah, I think these are twenty six ninety five, and I'm not going to worry about putting this back in the plastic bag because this one's actually going to come to our house because I want it. We have two of these left. These are the burlap runners. They're way less expensive. They're nine ninety five, and we've got two of the red. So burlap, or you can go with. We got the basic and the bougie. Expensive, or expensive, not as expensive. Both farmhouse. Both farmhouse. They work. <laughs> All right, let's move around here. Let's see if there's anything else. We still have a few of these towels with the uh, oh, the little the tassel. sayings on them. Yeah, seven ninety five. This one's linen. See the good. And then the oh sweet spring with the velvet on the bottom. Super cute. Oh, Diane says that her runner that she bought at the shop like this is on her dining room table. Diane happened to come in like the day all the stuff came in or the day after, so she got first. Oh, don't go over there too far yet. You got to show oh. them your fun oh, little. Oh, that's right. Your, your lavender situation. So we now carry actual French lavender in bundles that smells amazing. It comes wrapped just like this. It's from that. Provence, France. Oh, that is good. That's... All the best lavender is French lavender. I'm not going to lie. That almost smells better than fresh lavender. It's oh, like it's, sweeter. Yeah, it's a little sweeter. So it's $13.95 for these. So if you're getting ready for spring and you want the French lavender, we've got those. Hey, Christy! And then the fun little jars. What were these these uh, things called here again? I can't remember what these are called. Um, they look like those, cattails to me. These are cattails. So if you buy a whole bundle of them, I can't remember the price now. Caitlin, can you find the cattails? This is one bundle spread out. I wanted to show you how much one bundle will do. And then you can also buy a set of four of these jars or $26.95. So if you want to create this exact look, then you get this... Let me get the name here. A set of round glass vintage bottles, and these are actually vintage. They're new old stock from a pharmacy. You can get these for $26.95, and then you can buy the bundle of cattail, and then you've got your little vignette. And we just paired it with our cute little topiaries, and this is the last one of our chicken feeders that we have. So I just thought this was a really simple way to have a, a good impact. And the chicken feeder is new, not used. Um, yes, but it's found, so it's not something we restock. I found this thrifting. We also got back in stock our heart dobles. The petites are gone, but these big ones are $29.95 for our heart-shaped dobles. Super excited to have those back. And then we have a set farm fresh here, uh, watering cans, and they're $79.95 for the pair. So normally when I sell these antique watering cans, they're $49.95 each. But these came, and this one was just like a little bit smaller. So I sold them as a pair for seventy nine ninety five. Did you put our little lavender sign here, or did Jean do that? You know what, Tanea did that. Our, that's one of our stencils. This is one of our stencils. You can buy this sign. It says stenciled signed by Jamie, eleven ninety five. But yeah, it kind of ties into our French provincial theme here. And when you get these, these spouts come off, so you'll find them inside of the watering can. This one can. looks like it's welded on. Oh, maybe no, not. they're not. They nope. both come off. Nice. That's the way the antique watering cans were made. They're not all one. That's how a lot of times you can tell if a can is new or old because newer watering cans generally are one solid piece, whereas the old ones, this came off separate. So. What, they have different style nozzles? You know, I was Maybe you just, then. maybe you don't want it to spread. You just want to like dump it on the tree or something. Maybe, you, I don't know. You don't want the shower option. You want the hose <laughs> Donna, option. Donna, are you shocked that I'm wearing purple? It's like my favorite color. We carry this shirt too. <laughs> All right, so this is a vintage mailbox that we have. We only have one, and I don't know how much it is. Uh, $13.95. So this is the vintage metal mailbox. We just have one. It's a bound item, and it looks really cute on old doors. So if you have old doors, pick up this mailbox. We also carry a reproduction mailbox that we'll show in a little bit. So if you miss out on this, you can spend a little bit more and get a bigger one that's got like a bird on it. But this is really cute. <laughs> uh, same as it never was farmhouse boutique says that's for when there is a fire and you need it really doused out you just take that. gotcha i can get on board with that all right so we've got these french little um set of a lot boxes. of this stuff are, here is are, are found, these french right? or german i think these are german 
Just we only have the set of three. Yes, they're German. Uh, they're Humulus Lupus Botanicals. They're eighteen ninety five for all three. Super super cute. Jean, I wonder if we got this on the website. I think we did. This came from Sue. And this is the white metal candlestick for twenty nine ninety five. Look how big that is. It is big. It's really cute. And then we've got this pot from our last thrift haul. So this is the retro Arthur Wood teapot, twenty two ninety five. It's got that flower on this side and that flower on this side. And you can look up Arthur Wood. It is a collectible. Are you going to get any more camper joggers? I got some on order, friend. So if you ever so go on the those website, and then they were gone. <laughs> yeah, if you go to jrvhome.com, you're like, you see where it says sold out. Right next to it, there's going to be a button that says notify me when back in stock. And if we can restock that item and you click that button, you will get an email and then you'll know. All right, let's see what do we got over here. So I'm just going to pan all of the melts and the little soaps and the bath bombs. I'm pretty sure these are on the half off sale. I can't remember what they're called. Is there a tag on this? Those are on the half off. Yeah, but I don't know. Where's the tag? Oh, jar organized with jars, $24.95. So this should be in the half off collection. So look for that one. Um, and then we've got all of our um, melts here from Antique Candle Company, soy based, all natural, hand poured. It really is hard to pick a favorite. They're Which one all do we have in the house? Good. We have Georgia Peach right now. And Zeb walked in, he didn't know I'd taken one of these. These are what we be melt these in. And he didn't know I'd taken one home and he walked downstairs. He's like, oh, the kitchen smells good. What are you making? And I'm like, uh, cookies that are already made from Costco. And then I remembered that I had that burning. Sorry. Sorry no for the tease. For me. I'm a baking tease. All right, over here, we've got our new fun display of all of our Earth and Anchor products. These are made in the USA. And we've got soaks and masks and our new chopsticks, but brand new, straight from Italy, we have new soaps. And so Zeb's gonna smell them for you because he's the soap oh, smeller. I am. You gotta hold that steadier than that. Is that good? Can you see if yourself? If you're gonna be the camera person. Can you see yourself? Uh, yeah, I can see myself. Okay, which one is that? So this is, oh, it looks like rose. It says lavender and vanilla bean. There we go. Fun, fun packaging here. All right, I'm gonna smell it through. What does it smell like? Um, so the lavender is very faint. The vanilla bean is stronger on this, but good. It, ma it makes me almost want to eat it like a sugar cookie. Like a sugar cookie. All right, what do we got? What's the purple one? I'm always wanting to eat these soaps. Don't don't eat soap. You'll be in the bathroom for days. So violets. <laughs> yeah, don't eat the soap. Magnolia and amber uh, shea butter soap. Okay, that's more of a sharp, like real clean smell. Um, I'm not sure what magnolia smells like, but I'm guessing that's what I'm getting. <laughs> and violets. Yes. This is the one I think is going to be your favorite. The orange one? It's very, like, okay. masculine. Fig, orange blossom, and cedar wood. I love cedar, I love oranges, and I love figs. Yeah, I knew. My grandma had a fig tree in the backyard in Mesa, Arizona growing up, and we ate a lot of them. Christy picked these soaps out. Okay, that is good. And these are only three ninety five dollars a bar. And it does, it's, it's less figgy, more orange blossomy, but you can also smell a hint of the cedar coming through. Yeah. Do you need to use the coffee lip scrub to clean your palate? No. I'll be good. It's once we go through like 30 of these that I'm like, ooh, I don't know anymore. Okay, so this is peach, fig blossom, and rose. Heavy on the rose, but you do get a hint of like the sweet peach. <laughs> Jane says you only eat soap when you say a naughty word. Oh, well, I never, I never so eat soap actually then. actually say naughty words I don't, ever. I don't eat soap. because One naughty, naughty word, word in 22 years. Me, I'm not telling you. It might have been like two hours ago. Okay, so this, you guys, we have on the website. I can't remember even what it's called. It's been up here forever. But I just saw this on the new Magnolia Network. There's a show called Homework. I feel like you kind of like judge Copper how good pot. you're doing with your decor on what you see on the Magnolia Network. I did. Network. This was on the Magnolia Network. So it's $159.95. <laughs> it's a copper pot. And if you guys watch the show Homework, Candace and Andy are friends of mine from Utah. They're on that show. And they put a big pot just like this, only they shined it up on their island. So if anybody saw that, we have one. They're, we one. they're redoing an old schoolhouse to live in. And you can't just go to your local you know, store and buy these because they're antiques. So you got to know somebody that has one. And I'm that somebody. So I'm going to put that back. I actually have two. One's going to my house. One for me, one for you. All right. New windows. Lots of new windows. 
if you like the wood. The wood accents are strong so over here in this I corner. I love wood because I have so much white. So I like the warmth that the wood windows add. And I also feel like if you wanted white, I like the dark undertone. So you can easily paint these and then distress back and get the dark wood. Um, they are, let's see. And yes, you hardly ever find those with the lids and that one has the lid. So this is a restock. This is the medallion window. And then this is the mini Charleston. This is the one that we have at the farmhouse. This is called, let me, this is the Amelia window. So this one's super cute. This one is $25.95. I'm just going to take them down so I can know what I've shown you. This one I think is the attic window. Am I right? Yes, this is the attic window because it looks like a little attic. Um, and then we have this window. The other little attic window. That looks more like a vent to me. Yeah, this one looks more like a vent. This is called the parsonage. So like from a church window, that's what that style is. And then I am obsessed with this because I feel like it could be on the wall, but would also be very cute sitting flat with like a big crock on it. This oh, is yeah. the mini round. Look how cute that is. So this one probably my favorite, but I also really love the Amelia. So and you gotta excited. put all of Jean's hard work back together. You went and touched stuff again. I you know what? I actually put these here. Jean oh. put the, the mini Charleston. She put that one there. I actually did these. And this is our last Belgium muscle basket. And it is legit old. So if you love old crusty baskets, this one is $49.95. It's the last one that we have. Let me help you shorten. No, it wasn't on there. Oh, that one doesn't that was hang from there. Something else. Just sit it down on here. It was sitting down? Yeah, it was just like that. Oh, look at you getting creative. Hopefully that nail holds all that stuff good. Yeah. Let's see. Robin says I need more walls. Um, I tried looking at the chapstick, but there's no ingredients on the chapstick. Is there coconut oil in them? Let me double check. There is. Yes, this one. All of them. All of them have coconut oil. No? Oh, that's avocado and essential oils. This one has castor oil, sorbine oil, carnauba wax. Cocoa butter, avocado oil, and essential oils of peppermint and tangerine. Is it not so, listed if you click, click on the description? No, peppermint and tangerine does not have coconut oil. Christy says if you click on the description, it's listed. Oh, okay. Scratch that. Christy looked it up. They all have coconut oil. But don't worry. We have more brands coming very soon. I'm working with an amazing apothecary, so we have things coming. All right. New corn husk, corn husk. That's cotton. Cotton husk wreath. So I actually, actually really actually like that made without from, the cotton. Yeah, it look, I like it better without the cotton. And I feel like you could actually hot glue something else on it if you wanted something, but this is a really great base layer. Cotton husk wreath is $20.95. Super, super cute. If your camera's blurry, make sure to check your resolution because I'm watching here and the camera is good on my end. But if you check the resolution, sometimes you have to bump it up because we film in high res. Restock. What? Seb? No? You don't bump it up? I was going to say high def. Oh, high def. Sorry. Wrong word. These people are my people. High res, high def. They get it. Um, $12.95. <laughs> this is the perfect size for what, Zeb? That is good for holding all your little keys and stuff. Mm -hmm, and your change. That's how Zeb judges all small compartments. Can he unload his wallet? This is perfect for unloading your wallet. Um, you could also use it to store like... Or they're Paper just good clips. for stacking. Look how cool they look yeah, all they stacked there. Yeah, they look great there. stacked. They're also good for just little small things. Buttons, if you had like a little craft room. Um, I love the single holes for that. You can also put a like The nice thing about them is they're dished a little. So you they're like angled. So if you lose something in the bottom, you can dig stuff out real easy. Fast wife, I will talk. I'm actually talking to my apothecary um, that I'm working with creating some projects that I have. Products Monday that I haven't been able to find on her, Monday. Right? So I'll ask if she has products without um, coconut oil and then we'll let you know because I will definitely look that into you. Um, so, okay, moving on. We've got the three hole ones. How, I don't think we've had the three hole before. We had the five and the one. We did, but they sold out very quickly and then we didn't get them back. Okay, so it's been a long time. So if you've got a organizing situation in your craft room, these are really good for that. We've got the three and the five. Plus then, the three is starting to be long enough. It can be a centerpiece. And you guys know I always love odd numbers in display. So we've got one, three, five. Just looks really good. And then a lot of people do love the long sugar molds. But so if you don't have space, these three hole sugar molds are great. You can organize pencils, pens, crayons. I saw Joanna Gaines do that. Um, also, if you have an Ikea close, these little succulents, if you're not good at keeping plants alive, fit perfectly. And they come in a set of I three. I think you can Ikea. order those off their website. Yeah, I'm not sure. 
If you can't get them, you can email info at jamierayvintagehome.com and I will see if I can pick you up some. I think they're like five bucks, six bucks, but let me know. I'm happy to shop for you. Only available if you buy one of these and need it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna put this over here. We got cheese boards and bells. New are these um, cheese boards. Kind so, of more of a primitive look. And yeah. then the other ones are dished out. They have a dish on those. These are really sleek, right? These are handmade, so you can kind of see the difference. And every single one of these is just going to be slightly different. Um, and they've got the kerf marks. They're not actually old, but these actually look really, really old. And it's $18.95. These look really cute with those glass jars on them, too. So you can style it with um, like a chicken feeder like we have, or those set of four jars with a cattail would be so cute on this. I've always tried to think when I'm ordering things like what goes together well, and these are definitely it. Look what we got. Little cowbells. cowbells. I, so these are... What? Let those work on the sheep. We can put these on our sheep, yeah. We had, they haven't been born yet, but we're anxiously awaiting our sheep. So this one is $3.95. The sad part is we got to wait for them to get born, and then we got to wait for them to get weaned. I know. Once they're born, we have eight to ten more weeks. Restock of our scoops. These are all handmade. They're all slightly different, $19.95. They've been out for a little bit, so we're super excited. Can you tell we got our Woods products back in? And then every single size of dough bowl that we carry, except for the small hearts, but every size of dough bowl we have from our number one all the way to our number eight and our very, very popular number, this is number six. These sell so fast. So this is the number six dough bowl and this one is $39.95. For this length, you're getting a really great price. So if you've been wanting one of these, they are back. Well, and if you go to the website, there's like a big picture and it's got them all laid out on the ground with A, B, C, D, E, F, G or whatever it is. And you can pick them pretty easily. Oh, did Les find her eyeball? What? Les said, I was so frazzled today, I lost my eye. Yep, she thought, she was afraid to tell her hubby. She thought the dog ate it, but she found it. She knows where she put it. Um, Christy, did they, didn't these sell today? Or do we have one extra set? These sold, yeah? No, we have an extra. Oh, did you put them back in stock? No, they were already in stock. We oh. have one in stock, or we had two in stock, one sold. Oh, okay, so we have one of these left, because last time I checked, I thought we had zero. Well, okay, so both of them sold. let me double check before I start trying to sell these to people. Let me see, zinc. Well, while she's looking for that, we have cement no, molds. They sold, they oh, they sold. Oh, so those are gone? You're trying to sell those and they're gone? Yeah, I'm not going to sell them. <laughs> so the cement molds, small A here. Check out how cool these are. These are just amazing architectural detail. I have used one once to actually uh, do a mold. Um, and it was okay. It was semi-successful. I had to glue it back together a little bit. I didn't use enough mold release. But it worked out. Look how fun these are. These are this is a good one, and they these come with hanging hardware, so you can hang them on your wall if you want. Yeah, we have not had the small size since summertime. They've been sold out, and my picker actually went through all the antique cement molds and only picked the good ones. So I was like, I don't want any that are like some like uh, geometric looking. Um, so she gave me all the ornate ones, and they are so good. This one is cute. I like. It has like little flowers down in there. Yeah, they sell really fast. In fact, we've already sold quite a few. Um, and then we got some more medium cement molds in. So if you like the big, like, baluster type details or um, candlestick type details, these are the mediums. They're pretty big. Let's see. I want to see that big one back behind. There. Oh, yes. This is another medium. So there's small cement molds and medium cement molds. Ow, I hit my knee. But should be really good detailed pictures of all of these with measurements on. Um, no measurements. We oh, got no measurements. Good. Yeah, because they're all about the same size. So okay. these are eighty nine ninety five. I fibbed. I'm a fibber today. Yeah, fifty nine ninety five for these smaller ones. If you need exact measurements, you can email us and we will measure them. But um, they're all about the same honestly, size. Honestly, like I wouldn't wait to get measurements because while you're waiting, they'll probably sell. Yeah. <laughs> if that. you think you want it on these, I would honestly just be like, get it because. They go fast and we get limited quantities of them. Yep. So if you look up each letter on the picture, then you'll know which one. Make sure when you're going into variants that you're picking the letter that you want. All right. So we've got our cute little strawberry pitcher. This is from our thrift haul. It's $14.95 for this creamer, a little vintage creamer. 
And then I picked up the cutest. What about these creamers though? Oh, this is a set of creamers. So this is, uh, there's a price under this one, $44.95 and you get a set of five. And then these are the last of the recycled Moroccan glasses. Oh, because Odelia broke one of them the other day oh. at the house. I was like, Odelia, yeah. that glass was from Morocco. And she's oh like, what? $12.95 for these. And then these are the pitchers that we use for our syrup. And they're $32.95 for the pitchers. And they have bubble glass in them. And they're thick. And they're blue. And they're delicious. They're definitely a splurge item, but I love them. I was just teasing her a little bit, but she thought I was serious, yeah, so I, I had to tell her. No, so I had to tell her real quick. I'm like, it's okay. Mom this, has more. This is my favorite lavender that's not real. It is $69.95, but you get the basket and the lavender. And people all the time come to my house and are like, how are you growing lavender in the winter? I'm like, um, it's fake. <laughs> <laughs> all right, these just came in. Pom pom garlands. Yes, $9.95 for these Easter garlands, which if you've priced felt Easter garlands, this is a really good deal. I actually found them when somebody was de-stashing their stash of like wholesale goods because these are like usually $9.95 wholesale. So this is a really great retail price. So I snagged them up. I only have five. Um, and this is what they look like when they're out. And you can move them up and down the, the uh, ribbon or the thread as needed but they are felted balls. So they're really, really cute, perfect for spring, and they look good against Summer Crush. Um, let's see, these are the last of these Jadeite. We, these are the ones we have on our um, kitchen counter, $12.95. And then how much is the medium one? It's $15.95, and I think we only have one medium left. And then cute little egg holder. I think I ordered more of these, because this was the Do we have a bunch of these? Or is this just one, the pot? No, of I think we've got plant? a couple olive plants, maybe two. They're thirty-eight ninety-five. There's this so one. So is and the one planter in separate? Because yeah. it looks so this like is this the last comes in planter terracotta. Like this. this is the striped cement planter, eight ninety-five, and this might be in the half-off section. I'm not sure. It's not. Christy says it's not, but it is eight ninety-five, which I feel like is a good deal. <laughs> Christy's correcting me, which is good. Um, butterfly. We used to have hearts. They sold out. We've got the butterfly little doilies here that are five ninety-nine. And then if you go to our vintage, vintage, antique, and found, you'll find a lot of one-of-a-kind items. If you're patient, you can scroll through them. And we have a lot of things like this little State Farm heart silver dish that's $6.95. Um, State Farm U.S. figure skating. I'm, Careful. Did you figure skate? Careful. You, did, you might need this. You could tell people you were Did Christy come thing. snag the apron off the mannequin while it was turning around? Oh, it's, oh, it's sold. It's gone. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to cover it with uh, this ox blood apron. This is actually, I feel like this could be for, um, this is kind of unisex because it's very like canvassy. Yeah, it could, it could. Although it does have that. a heart on it. But Wait, like, where's the heart? It's right there. It's little. Oh, it's on the leather tassel. It's minuscule. This one is $22.95. We do have quite a few cute aprons that you can't really find anywhere else. I search high and low for good aprons. Thank you. We're dressed in the naked mannequin here. This is our, what did we name this one? Bernice? Bernice. Bernice. <laughs> the All little the joke. mannequins have names. We named this mannequin Bernice <laughs> because I bought it right about the time that Bernie came out with the mittens. So I was going to look for some mittens and like, <laughs> time. <laughs> we, we, we have jokes here. Jokes for days. All right. French canning jars. I know you have not seen them yet, but I have these at my house and I promise you, you're going to want them. They are perfect for storing chocolate chips or your coconut or your pecans for baking. I love, love, love them. And the seals, make sure they're super tight. My favorite is the three liter because it's ginormous. Like think two liter bottle, but one and a half size times the size. You can store a ton of stuff in that. And there's some cool insulators, some old books. This little Tools. stool is something that we should. Yes, the bottle crate stool is $89.95. And then look, we got new floral in. So these are the large white peonies. They're $8.95. Look how long the stem is. And they're beautiful, like lots and lots of layers. They're creamy and they have just a hint of pink on the edge of the green. Yeah, we call Bernice Bernie for short. So, um, And these are the perfect size to go in antique milk jugs, which we do have some European milk jugs up on the website. I don't know, antique European milk can $89.95. So they're perfect together. So if you're looking for taller stems to go in your milk jugs, those are good. Let's see, oh, these are new. I'm gonna put this down. 
what does it say, Jamie gets excited about stuff like I do. I do get excited. So we've carried column bases for a long time. In fact, I think Jane Brown might have one or two. Um, but these are the little <laughs> baby column bases, perfect for a little cloche, or they fit these cute I little do like the smaller size. White pots, like if you're creating a vignette. Christy um, says she also likes shipping the smaller size. Oh, Christy prefers that you buy these because they're easier to ship. They're $18.95. <laughs> and they fit the little, these pots are $6.95. So if you wanted to create this look, there you go. I feel like you're hiding these ones down here. These go like the, the cement molds. These they go, go quick. These go fast. So these are the big column bases that are antique. Those are handmade. These are antique. Jane says, why, yes, I do. I know you, Jane. So this is C. These just came in. This is column base C, $79.95. Column base D. This one is chippy green. Um, Caitlin searched the column bases and couldn't find these. Can you see if you... All right, Caitlin's on the link. I like that blue a lot. And then this is like a... Cer cer I can't say it. Cerulean blue. Um, and this is A. And then we have one more I'm going to show you. I have it hiding. Oh, actually, we have two more. We have this one here. Let me see which one is that one this is our last little oval enamel bin if you've been wanting the these pink one 10.95 for that one so this one is that one is g this is g g and c are very close in looks let me see over here we have b and b is probably one of my favorites because it's got light blue like a pale blue but then it's got a teal so it's got two shades and then it's got hints of mustard coming through the chippy paint and we don't paint these this is how they come um and i just think it's pretty great and there these would be at the bottom of like an architectural column that's where they come from and then look what we got we haven't had these for a while these are the ammo cans with the handles and they are 24.95 and they're all a little bit different because they're actually antique ammo cans and then what they do is they weld on these little handles so you can make it into a skipping ammo can skipping ammo or, can <laughs> they're perfect for flowers which is what we use them for and we just got in these poppies and these are such a good price point these are 6.95 for this bundle and i like them because they're not super long and sometimes you just I feel want like you bought amount. flowers like that for 6.95 for just one yes i have but if i want something i buy it so we, so that's the way it is. Orange, <laughs> white, pink. That's the world we live in. Six ninety five each. <laughs> that is Jamie's world. That's why I. That's why I work. So we so have I the little shop. cattails. This is what they look like oh, yeah. bundled up together. And then we have the big ones. These are these are um, pampas grafts. Oh, not cattails. So these are the cattails. Remember we showed you those earlier in the the uh, round vintage jars. So this is what they look like. This is nine ninety five. These are $14.95 for the pompous, and they're tall. They're this tall, and they're soft. So they look great. This is one of our antique water jugs. Do we have more of those, too? I think or that's the last is one. Is that the last one? We have one. one at home, and this is water jug A, maybe? I'm really liking... $49.95. I don't know why. Like, the cotton, like, kind of open, but without the cotton in it, just it's really cool. So these cotton stems are actual, like, husks but they recreate them, right? So this right here is not real. The cotton inside is not real, but they take the husks after they pull the cotton off of them. And instead of getting rid of them, they create these. So the husks are real, but this brown part and this part isn't real because when they go through the cotton fields, it really damages the actual cotton stem, but they can still salvage these cotton husks. So then they recreate them. And these, you get two husks for $16.95. Nice. And they're really long. So you get two of them for... Oh, we have this column base over here. It's oh, been yeah. hiding out. I think we've had we've this had one for this a one little for while. while. This one is E, and we've had this white one. It's, was the, it was the Lone Ranger till we got those ones. I don't know if we've showed it close, though. It does have green peeking through here that really gives it kind of a... It really makes all the detail on it look good. Down? It's right there. You got it. Yumiko, says, Yumiko is like, you girls are fast on buying the cement molds. We still have more. Don't worry. Um, let's see, what else is new over here? This we just showed last week. This is a set of three. It's like 20-ish dollars. Um, and these are such a great deal because you can use them. They're finished inside and out. So you can hang them on a wall. You can stack them upside down. You can have them right side up and put something inside. So you've got that going for you. And I feel like you could also use them and stencil them and make signs. 
would be really cute with these. And you get all three for the low, low price of $20. So it's a good deal. And these look like they're new to me. We've had the birds, the smoked birds, but we haven't had these little planters I just with found them. the basket. We've had them, but they were hiding in the basement, so we just put them back in stock. So these are $6.95. You get the cement uh, pot, and then you also get the wire basket on the outside. Yumiko got two. Woo -woo. And then you have, you can see what size they are. They fit this little succulent right down in there that Jamie likes to get yeah. from Yeah, and these are perfect, these little bird planters. Oh, we need to take one of these home for Odelia for her aloe. Either oh. this or one of these cement pots. Okay. I'll ask her which one she wants. Then we've got some more bunnies. These are the cute little iridescent bunnies that we carry. <laughs> this is a not tag right. Oh, this one says butterfly wall decor. We're going to separate that one. I'm going to show you. So we've been showing these pictures here. They're all individually framed uh, with, uh, is that salvage wood that they're using yeah, so that's for the old frames? Yeah, so wood from New York. Oh, Odelia says she wants a cement pot, not the bird. Not the bird. Perfect. So these are made with salvage barn wood out of New York, and we've got the vintage bunny. It says on a sheep, but that's most definitely a goat, we've decided. <laughs> yes. With a bell, I might add. Yeah, it's ready to go. And then we've got go. the sheep over here and the hair over there. So all kind of vintage prints re-done um, in these cute little barn wood frames and with the hanging hardware on the back. And I think they're like $38.95, if I'm correct, so... Oh, look, you you brought in one of your... Uh... Yeah, that one's not on the website. Don't show them. Don't show them? Because oh, I only have them. one, and I feel like this one is so delicate. It wouldn't ship well. But we do have these cute little bells. This is the Trotter Bell, $9.95, and this is the Floral White Bell with the chalk in it. Isn't that cute? The chalk The chalk, the chalk gets you. These are new, so these used to be numbered, and nobody bought them. So Jean took these old pickle jars, and she did these farmhouse animals. They're $14.95 each painted by Jean. We've got a pig and a rooster, and this one does have a lid. We just took it off to Did display she, those. She just used the JRV stencil mm -hmm. over there. Yes, for the, the farmhouse minis. Nice. All right, straight from across the pond. I wanted to get a bunch of these, but in case you guys didn't know, the UK has been shut down. These are marmalade crocs. So we've got the large marmalade croc, which isn't really large, guys. It's but larger. That's a lot of marmalade, though. It is a lot, and then we've got the um, small so i feel this like one, this would be about a quart and this would be a pint but they probably measure them in uh, yeah probably milliliters because they're from uk and they are actually old and every single one is different so you just get the luck of the draw um and this one is 28.95 for this croc and this one is 21.95 so if you love marmalade crocs we've got three of each size and i feel like the poppies are like the perfect size to put in the large ones because they're super cute so i staged that up Last two of these little pitchers, if you've been needing a little uh, yeah. creamer or jam pitcher. This is a small Would rock Would you use that for pitcher. jam, jelly? You could use this for syrup. Syrup. Yeah. I, Luann, I agree that the center picture is a goat. I do agree. We've got these cast iron finials, $8.95 for the fleur de lis. These are found, so we only have one of each. And then this one is an arrow. And then these um, cute little smaller water and cans, this one's $16.95. This is the last one. And then this one up here is $30.95, and that's the last one, and it fits the poppies perfectly in there. So, love that. Here's our cans from our Waste Not Wednesday. These are just number 10 cans. Doesn't somebody want to be twinners with me? This says, depends on where you're from, bake, but could also be cook in French. We've heard both sides. They are 20 something 95 24.95 22.95 there's not a price tag on them. they've got the uh, iod raised letter molds on there <laughs> i don't know they're they're on the website caitlin will drop them a link and then i'll put the price <laughs> on them. we just put them out these are new i bought them for zeb because he's obsessed with drinking jars these are the french so you know how we have those taller canning jars these are the french jam pot drinking glasses what is the price on these 4.95 $4.95 and the cool thing about these drinking jars that you, you can like drink your juice at them but they also come with these cute lids on top so the if you lid do does seal on there pretty good i feel like you could use them the, for I a love fridge the logo. container can you guys see there we go it says lay parfait on the top but i feel like you could use them to like put stuff in the fridge with too well these would be perfect for freezer jam oh so if you make freezer jam and you've been having a hard time getting a hold of them $4.95 for these and these are perfect. don't you think these are perfect for freezer jam christy yeah can you make me some this year? Yeah. Thanks, friend.
Christy's who taught me how to make freezer jam. Here, let's show favorite. these. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. These I bought with Zeb in mind. They're not actually old, which is great because old oil cans are cool, but they're kind of gross. So these are reproductions. Um, they're made in India and they're one quart size. And then this logo on here is my favorite. She sounds like the gal that I bought them from had a bunch of different colors, but the blue one is French blue, which everything's better in France. So it's my favorite French blue. Um, and they're $26.95 and they fit perfectly. Wait for it. Are Am I following? Ready? Are you ready for me to blow your mind? They're, they're made to fit inside these. So if you wanted to buy three of these, then you could get the triple mold and just put them inside. Aren't they cute? And they also can fit in the five hole. Ta -da! They don't like fit super tight. They fit in there and I think they're super cute. I was going to display them like that, but I forgot till right now. Um, Crescent Moon says, just bought one of the little cement pots with the wire cage thingy. <laughs> you guys. This is Seth's like my favorite, favorite new thing Jamie got. I love hot air balloons. I'm going to actually be doing hot air balloon decoupage soon. I think Christy said if you it, it does spin pretty free. We tried to put this candle in here. This is one of the DIY candles that we're burning in here. I think it's a little small. You need like a three wick candle. But Christy it says might, it'll spin, but we haven't seen that happen It might spin, yet. and I could see it doing that. You know what it would do for sure if you put it outside? It would definitely spin like out With on your wind? porch. Oh, absolutely. So these are perfect for your porch. They actually came in bright primary colors and not in the good boho way. But the black and white to me was a really sophisticated look. And I think they would be darling with a smaller plant that hung down as long as you didn't need a lot of dirt in there. Or you could put tea lights in them or whatever for an outdoor garden party. These are amazing. I just really like them. Yeah, I knew you would. When I saw those, I was like, oh, I need eight of those. How much are the balloons, Christy? Uh, let me look. I think Caitlin just, just, dropped the link. just dropped the link, but didn't show the price. Christy's that she brought back from Europe. Is it Hungary you went to, Christy? Yeah, oh, 30, I think hers might be cooler than ours because I don't know that. I mean, they, they do have Mine's like the big. fin on there. Oh, hers um, wasn't as big. Oh, yeah, that might be it. This is pretty big, and it's all metal. It's welded. Um, yeah. But it's if you put it outside, it does spin really freely, and I guarantee you the wind will catch that and yeah, make that spin that? all day long. So $38.95. These are not from Hungary. The ones she bought was, these, are, I believe, are made in Mexico, yep. if I remember correctly. Yep. So these are really cool, and they spin, and they're just, they're just gorgeous. So I love them. Um, so somebody asked about freezer jam. Freezer jam is where you take... Fruit, pectin, sugar, sometimes lemon juice, and you stir it up. You let it sit for how long, Zeb? Overnight. 24 hours. You don't put it in the freezer until the the stuff all melts together. Because, Zeb, one time I worked very hard, and I made like 28 jars of freezer jam, and I left it on the counter because it has to sit out for 24 hours while the, the sugar kind of disintegrates into it. And he's like, oh, no, she forgot to put these in the freezer. And so we put them in the freezer. And so for an entire year, we were eating grainy jam. It still tasted good. <laughs> it tasted it's great. It's a little crunchy. It was just, you know, a little texture <laughs> in your jam. But you can Google freezer jam. It's really simple, and it's so much easier than cooking the jam it comes together really quickly you just need like a big bowl and a big spoon and you well i mean you don't need as big of a bowl unless you're making like 28 jars like me what do i got on you me you must have brushed up against something probably something you oh these like... are new so we've oh. had laundry carts for a while but these are copper so they're not copper metal they're copper color um but this is the medium size is 69.95 and we have a laundry cart in our living room that we put our extra pillows and blankets in. And then we actually have a vintage laundry cart in our master closet that we use for our dirty clothes hamper. So, oh, Mariah's on here. What, what? She must, she must be have stopped to go pee. Or she just tuned in while she was driving. I don't think so. Mariah is on her way to Utah right now. We're very excited. She's, She's in moving. Utah. She, we got to help them move about seven. They should be at the house to unload. Yeah, we're super excited to have them. Can you tell? My smile's like... For like 10 months we've been waiting patiently um our european candy from sweden has been hot sellers they are 295 so if you're are we out of the vikings did the vikings go already we are out of the vikings but we have everything else but if you're ordering and you have a little bit of a sweet tooth do yourself a favor and get yourself some uh, swedish candy the swedes do sugar right and all of it is like 
No if you're hype. into gummy candy. Yeah, if you're into gummy they're candy. Re they got really good gummy candy. It's all well made. Like, no hype for fructose corn syrup. Some of them are vegan. They're all gluten free. Make sure if you want to know it, which one's vegan, if you look at the picture, it's got all the pertinent information on the top, and they're all non GMO. So, they're, you know, you want a treat, but you don't want any GMO. These are good. And we sell a ton in the store. It's been, if you guys have a retail store, find a candy that's special. You know, you can't just get everywhere that you love because people will totally, they'll totally buy it as they check out. All right, I think we covered everything in here. Uh, there's always something there's that always we miss. Something. I mean, we got pillows over here. Oh, this is new. So this the... was actually sent to us. This is a paper mache hen and it's $22.95 and it's super, super cute. So I love I the colors. Like Very primitive. I couldn't basket. paint it. Um, and it was shipped to us uh, for Christmas and we lost the card. Um, but they shipped it to us to sell in the store. So that's how cute that is. We only have one. Um, and then I also forgot to show these on the thrift haul this weekend. So these are the white butter dishes, $7.95 and $8.95. I'll tell you a little secret. This one used to live in our house. This is from the other house. When we moved, we got the big clear butter dish that we carry that's like $16.95. So we didn't need this one anymore. So this it's $8.95 for this one. It's just a classic white butter dish. That we probably thrifted. <laughs> that we're probably um, let's see. Becky says she likes my lipstick color. It's actually two. I can never find the exact right shade. So I put on a dark shade and I put on a light shade. I blend it. Um, new over here, if you are especially boho, these are the shibori print pillows. These are not shibori dyed. So they are a print, but this, this is the water dye one. Um, I don't think they put that on there, but that's what this one is called. And it comes with the insert for $26.95. So if you get one, and we sell the few that we have in plastic, they come like this, but some of them come like sucked down. So when you take them out, they plump up like this. Now if you love, like this I feel like lends itself to boho, but also kind of hippie vibe, kind of vintage. You can also put it with farmhouse if you have kind of an organic look. I love this one. The blue is really good. Cobalt blue is really popular this year. Um, Blues are always good. They're one yeah. of my favorite colors. You can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Hey, don't be showing my extra leftovers from five kids up here. I'm showing the stuff down here. The I can't help it that you're standing by the stuff. Um, so this I love. If you guys have anything left over that's red that you use for Valentine's Day or Christmas, if you pair something like this with it, then you can carry your red into the spring. So this is the Corsica Sky Napkin. That's all it is. It's a cloth napkin. But I actually love these because you can use them on like a side table. I don't actually use cloth napkins. I don't really know anybody that does. But they're beautiful, like put on a side table with some flowers on the top. Or if you've got like a little French market basket, you take your little napkin. I'm giving you a little style tip here. Almost like a scarf, but you don't want a giant scarf. Look how cute that is on that French basket. So now you've got this red color that's in the napkin and you're tying in the red color that you have from Valentine's Day or Christmas and you're bringing it into spring. So if you guys have any of our French market baskets, buy some of our cloth napkins because it's such a really great addition to it and adds a lot of style. And you can change these out summer, spring, you could even get like a fall colored one. Um, they start as low as $20.95 for this size. Um, this is a really great starter size and then they go all the way up to $52.95. This one, I have this one is the Honolulu one. It's $39.95 and I have this one and I also have, this is the Miami, I believe. Yep, so these two I have in my closet. I love them. But I decided to share that with you because I love cloth napkin stuff. I also feel like we need to just start using cloth napkins around the house. <laughs> what do we, you, who's gonna iron the cloth napkins? Then? Oh, you don't gotta iron them. You just get them out of the dryer when they're fresh. Fresh gotta, out of the you dryer. You gotta iron them. <laughs> <laughs> Um, marmalade totes, these are perfect to go to like the store if you just got to grab a few things. These ones are $19.95 for the tote bag. Do the tote bags have free shipping, Christy? Are they a purse? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. She's looking. Um, these just got moved to half off. These we made like forever ago, Waste Not Wednesday bags. These just got moved on to the half off collection. So some of them are fall, some are just bakery. But those got moved into the sale. That's okay. The best time to buy for the season is when it's off season. If you guys are interested in products to make yourself look good at home, we have 
all the IOD, all the DIY, all the milk paint you need, that's on our paint website, which is jamieraidvintage.com. You can also pre-order our decoupage paper and our stencils. So if you saw any dressers or painted stuff out here that you loved, but you don't want to pay to ship a dresser, come get some paint and make come it your get own. Some paint. All right, let's see if we got... Odilia just says, I have a small head. I don't know what she's saying. <laughs> and then Lolly says, I use cloth napkins. DIY to candles. Buy. Yeah, the, the DIY candles are on the home website. It's all of our home decor. If you're local, show them this gorgeousness back here. Oh, this We're mirror. We're not shipping this, but if you're local, we have this vintage mirror. I was saving it and never found a spot, so I finally parted with it. It's 199 It was going to go in the ki above the kids' bathroom vanity. And it just, it was too wide. It didn't it was, fit. And it was very, very fancy. Yes. So fancy. So if you're oh, local, check that out. The ribbon fell over. Save it. Oh, it's all right. We'll get to it later. We'll save it later. We'll save it later. All right. Clothing room. We don't have any new products that we haven't shown. We do have a few of these um, black vertical stripe bags. These are the Le Papillon French grain sacks. Sheila's sporting a new belt. These are leather. I think we showed that last week. Yeah, we showed that last week. But it looks week. better showing it there. We've still got these Paris necklaces. These are super cute. If your significant other has not purchased you anything yet and you want to get some cute jewelry, go to JRV Home and have them snag a gift card. We also, oh, we didn't show them the new, oh, we showed them the hearts last week, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, we got those last week. We have new shoes, though. Woot woot. So we are constantly being asked for larger sizes of shoes, and I finally, finally found them. These shoes go up to a size 12, I want to say, and they start at a size 9. So these are specifically made for those of you that have a hard time finding cute shoes. Um, they have a suede knot on them. They're flats, and they are $22.95, and that's with free shipping. So if you have a hard time, you want some cute shoes for spring, and you need a larger size, we've got these for you. Um, and then we have these wide strap sandals. These are super cute. These, I believe, only go up to a 10. Oops, they didn't get the buckle in there. They've got this really classy gold buckle, and these are great for sundresses. I don't tend to have a lot of shoes. I like to have basics, and so this spring, I really focused on getting basic styles that would go with a lot of different things. So there we go. So these are cute. These are new. Let's see, do we have a price on these? These are also $22.95 with shipping. Look how cute those are. Odelia says these are, the problem with Odelia, sweetie, is that your feet are wide, but they're not size of nine. Odelia has little teeny tiny feet. I'm sorry, Odelia, it's my fault. She I have, got, I have the widest that. feet. I have to buy like 4E, extra wide, whatever it is, right. every time. She's got cute little toes. All right, super obsessed with these. These are my new dress flats that we just got in. They're $22.95. Um, if you have wider feet... These are just going to fit regular width. They fit me just fine, and I have a regular width foot. And I wear a size 8 IRL, and this size 8 fits me. And I just love them because they've got a little bit of the animal print, and then they've got the sophisticated black. So to me, these are like a neutral. I, right, Caitlin? I knew you'd like those. Okay, these are Christy's pick. Christy, these fit you, right? Christy, are you still watching? <laughs> I think they did fit her. Christy's foot is a little bit wider, and these did fit her. We tried them on today. These are also 21. These are 21 95 What? So these are true to size, and they fit your feet, and your feet are a little wider, right? Uh, yeah, they fit wide feet. Okay, so these fit me, and I have a normal width, like a standard, and Christy's are a little bit wider, and they fit her feet. Um, and these are true to size, and these were Christy's pick. She loves these. I like the strappy detail. Again, they're cute, but they're like black which means they could go with a lot of different things so if you don't like to have if you're into like capsule wardrobes or just buying some staple pieces all of these sandals would be really good and for 21 and 22.95 you can't beat that with free shipping um and then by accident i happened to buy <laughs> plus bonus kids shoes plus bonus we have little girl shoes um i think they start in size <laughs> nine and they go up to size four don't hold me to that they are true to size they are does that smell like leather to you? Hang on. I think they're leather. Yes, they are leather. Yes, they are leather. Whoa, that's a good deal. $18.95, and they are leather. <laughs> but these are really cute. We also carry some little girl clothes. So if you need, you know, like a little simple outfit, we've got these cute little dresses with a ruffle and then these cute little shoes. 
And I know sometimes it's hard to find simple little girl clothes. So the dress is $28.95 and then $18.95 for the little shoes. If you've got a granddaughter or a daughter or a neighbor, buy these because I accidentally bought them. <laughs> Caitlin's laughing at me smelling shoes. I'm like, are they really leather? Hey, when they're brand new, hey, shoes smell good. It's like these boots are. If really you've been good wearing them a week, maybe don't go smelling your yeah, shoes. Yeah, maybe don't smell them. These are actually leather, and these are like twenty six ninety five. These are a good deal. All of our boots are leather. We have this style that's twenty six ninety five, and then we also carry these that are twenty six ninety five. And I have these in black, and these in taupe. And I also probably, I own every single one of these pairs. She also has these ones. I also have all of those. <laughs> I was so sad because I thought I lost my other shoe like this. Turns out it was in the shoe box and then the other shoe was in Odelia's room. And when we moved, I found it. It was very exciting. So, um, if you ever need information on a shoe, you can always call and let us know. These, these are from last sandals, summer, but yeah, we so still have them. Yeah, so half off collection. So, if you want last year's spring shoes... We've got those. Does the suede knot sandal match the leopard bag? The suede knot, that's those ones. This leopard bag here. I'd say it's pretty close. I would say it's pretty close. Yeah, it's pretty close to that darker brown in there. That would be cute. You guys are making outfits over here. I guess I need to be careful how I say making outfits. If you're in Texas and you have ice storms, we have one black scarf left. Yeah, be safe in Crazy those ice storms. weather. It you guys looks, be careful. It looks bad. Well, and, and Kansas, too. Especially because in those areas, they're not used to all the ice and snow. Here, it's just another day well, in Kansas Utah. gets a lot of snow, but Texas yeah, but not, not Texas. so much. Texas. That's weird. You guys be careful out there. All right. Um, I'm actually shocked about this, but we haven't sold very many of these. These are $9.95 for these pearl bracelets, and they're really, really cute, and I like them. I'm actually going to take some home. Um, we do sell brass cuffs. So these are $6.95. They're actually solid brass. So if you like cuffs, we've got those. They hold up really well because they're made of brass. We've got a few of these little um, crystals. I don't know what people do with them, but we sell a lot of them. <laughs> and then our little brass feathers. And we do carry brass pocket knives too. So these are $6.95 and they will fit on a keychain. So if you like to have a pocket knife with you, just like open things up or whatever, these are the perfect size. So grab one of those. All right, what else do we got here? I think that's it. I'll um, give, it, I'll give a pen. Okay, so these daughters, I'm very disappointed in you guys. Look how cute these are. <laughs> She's like, I love these, but I can't buy more Christy, sorry, if do, you don't buy them. Do not understand why the Dreamcatcher joggers did not sell out. So if you did not buy any... Look how cute they are. These only come to XL, but darling. And I do promise to have more camper joggers. We do have one size small camper jogger left, but I have more coming. So we've got one size small and these, the rest So if you've been out. waiting for the camper joggers, go, go click on them so that you can get notified when they're back ones, in I'm stock. The other ones I'm also disappointed in you guys, these Moroccan arabesque ones that I don't think they're called retro, but they should be called Moroccan arabesque. Look how cute those are. They're tie-dye and a cool print. I knew you'd like, Debbie would like these. Debbie's the reason I have a Moroccan stencil. She insisted and nobody tells Debbie now. I think I might've lost my phone. Oh, you, that passed it. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, this is our new Weekender bag. If you guys have been holding out, I've got one of these for me. And if you wear plus size, make sure to check in our plus size section. We do keep quite a bit. And last week, somebody asked for floral joggers. I did order them, but we have a ton of tie-dye still. And we've carried plus size jeans and these cute little, like, cardigans and sweaters. Zeb will usually try on one or two, but maybe not today. I've already tried all those on. You've you got to get some new stuff oh, so I can try it on. These are our um, headbands. These are the raised floral velvet headbands. If you didn't snag one of those, make sure to get those. So our clothing room is stocked. You can hit up jrbhome.com and everything that is a bag or jewelry or clothes or shoes, all free shipping. So don't miss out on that. I think that's everything. We have shown a lot Did of we show? I, it's, it's always hard to make sure we get everything in this room. This room's pretty loaded. Um, Check Jude. out the hot air balloon. <laughs> Deb, I want you to say it again. Jude, Debbie texted me and said she was on the plane about two hours ago, so I haven't checked back, but she did get on the plane. Yeah, so. if she got on the plane, she's probably good. Less wants dog joggers, less 
I ordered some wiener dog joggers. So I'll let you know when they come in. <laughs> all right, you guys, jrvhome.com is where you can get all the home decor and clothes. If you're interested in our decoupage paper, paint, stencils, IOD, it's jamierayvintage.com for that. Sorry, no free shipping to Canada. Um, we only ship yeah. to the 48 states. If I could get cheaper shipping to Canada, I would. But if I'm you like want a stuff very from the small home site, fry on, in a big fry box. <laughs> so when I become a bigger fry and I compete with those big names that I won't need mentioned, then maybe I can offer that. But yeah. if you really want something in Canada, you can always email. Oh, they want to know about my shoes. Okay. These I are... wish I carried these, but I don't. They were not $22. Here's the these thing. These were $65. I love New Balance shoes because they come wide and they're super comfy. And then Jamie was looking for some more for me. And she found these for her, and she's like, oh my goodness, New Balance. I also bought them in black, <laughs> and I bought a pair that was too small, and I gave them to Jean. So Jean and I both have twin or blacks, but I got these new. These are hound's tooth. There we go. I'll drop the link in the replay for you guys. I've got that. I have an Amazon affiliate link for these. I actually really do love them. Zeb and I have been running, so I had to buy running shoes. And they we actually to didn't run this morning. We have to run today. Yeah, so, you know, it's life. All right, I think that's it. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up and it would be amazing, amazing, amazing if you would take and hit that share button and then share the link in Facebook or text it to your friends or however it is that you share stuff. Um, that helps us out a ton. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. And shopping. Love you guys.